Hello and welcome back to TechNuovo. My name's Steph and thanks for joining us for this week's 180 Tech Chat. Something slightly different, we're currently testing a 512 audio skylight condenser microphone and I thought what better way to put it to the test than to do our weekly Tech Chat recording on this actual microphone. It's also close to firework night. Fireworks in my area have already started, so if you do hear any bangs in the background, I do apologize about that. There's nothing really we can do about that. But uh, yeah, as I say, let's jump straight into the news. First up, we've got Asus Republica Gamers, or ROG as some people may know it. They announced the new ROG Phone 5S, and ROG Phone 5S Pro gaming smartphones, the latest smartphones from the brand. These are gamers' phones, right? And with that comes all sorts of goodies to bring a good gaming experience on the go. So what have we got? We've got a Snapdragon 888 Plus processor with 5G and up to 18 gigabyte of RAM, a 6.8 inch 144 hertz one millisecond AMOLED display with a 360 hertz refresh rate on a mobile phone, which is mental. This phone promises to give you super smooth, seamless gaming experiences. Price-wise, you're looking at a thousand pounds near enough with 16 gigabyte of RAM or 1100 pounds for 18 gigabyte of RAM, but that's no difference at all there. But the 1100 pound 18 gig version also includes a cooling fan for your mobile phone, a cooling fan to keep it cool while you're gaming, while you're playing loads and loads of games on your ROG smartphone. Not cheap in the slightest, but if you're a keen a mobile gamer you're likely to favor this over say the iphone 13. so new world have you been playing it's an amazon original game and it started off with a bang it really did it was very popular having nearly a million players online at once which in itself caused server problems and queues but it's been a month now and it's not good news. It's been reported that they've lost well over half their player base since launch, that more than 500,000 people have dropped off the game. Why? Well, there's a number of issues really. The game is riddled with bugs and exploits. Amazon are doing their best to keep up, but when they fix one bug, another two pop up. Now, server queues for the 2000 capacity maps did see queues in the thousands at one point, and I know I waited in one. Now that has since died down, but Amazon have since given the option for players to migrate back to another server. So now everyone is moving to more popular servers and guess what? The queues are back. Also, the game is such a grind, it really is, and it can get really boring. Now watch this space, it's in Amazon's hands now and how they keep players entertained over the winter. Titled The Book of Boba Fett, we get to see the iconic Mandalorian take over rule on Tatooine from old Jabba the Hutt, promising to rule with respect rather than fear. Now the trailer saw characters from the iconic Mandalorian series return, as well as some awesome looking action sequences. And given Disney's absolute train wreck of sequels, this along with the Mandalorian that we've already had, are already starting to see some hope that Disney is actually capable of taking over the world's greatest sci-fi universe. Now one question does remain though, well a few actually. And although I'm a fan of the movies and the series and all that kind of thing, not so much the books or the extended universe lore, but I do wonder where Jabba has gone. The worm died in Return of the Jedi when Leia strangled him to death and Luke and the gang blew up the barge, but Boba Fett also fell into the Sarlacc pit to be digested over a thousand years. Now did Boba Fett climb out? Is this based in an alternative story arc? Is Jabba really dead in this or has he just left? Is this even based on Tatooine? There are so many questions that that trailer has filled my head with and I think I just need to do more research clearly. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this week's news updates, give this video a like and to keep up with the rest of our weekly review content, subscribe to the channel. Also, let us know in the comments what you thought about the sound. Do you like this microphone? And also keep an eye out for the review for the 512 Audio Skylight as well. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you soon.